is I'd like to take a look at uh, 2013. So in 2013 problem 4 we have another matrix but notice that we're traversing this differently. For the first row I have to go from left to right and for the second row I have to go from right to left. The third row I have to go from left to right. And the fourth row I have to go from right to left. And the first thing that I notice is that, hey, rows 0 and 2 are both going from left to right, but rows 1 and 3 are going from right to left. In other words, odd rows go right to left and even rows go from left to right. That was the first thing that I noticed here is this idea that I'm going to have to go through this matrix in a non-traditional way. So I've got a class called Skyview and I'm going to have to go through this class. Uh, it contains a matrix called view that holds doubles. So I don't have to declare this. It's already been declared for me. I just have to assign it and I'm going to have a certain number of rows, a certain number of columns, and I'm going to have a parameter called scanned. And scanned is actually going to have the data that I need to put into my matrix. So this is what my constructor looks like, and we're actually going to be writing this because this is the non-traditional traversal. And there's other stuff that we're going to have to do, like this get average. It really doesn't matter how I go through the matrix to add everything up before I divide. So that's not really necessarily a non-traditional, but this constructor definitely will be non-traditional. The idea is that on the even rows, I'm going to be inserting the elements from left to right. On the odd rows, I'm going to be inserting the elements from right to left. And it's important to note that I'm actually using an array here for the data that I'm putting into the list as opposed to an array list. For an array list I had to use the get method and I had to use the size method. For this array I'm going to have to use the individual index of the array and I'm going to have to use the array.length in order to put stuff in. So it's really important to understand that difference because it is a difference that's very necessary to make that distinguishing point on. So we're going to go ahead and implement this Skyview constructor. What's important to remember is that I don't have to declare the variable. It's already been declared. I just have to assign it. And so what's going to happen is they're going to give me an array of data. And I have to put the data in. Notice that these first three data points are going to go in the first row. And so they go in order from left to right. Oops. They go in order from left to right. So this is going to go into column 2. But then this piece of data is starting on the first row, row 1. And so this is going to go from right to left. And so notice this data goes here and this data goes here. So I'm going to have to take care to, to distinguish between the even rows and the odd rows inside of my row loop. And then notice the next element goes into this zeroth element, this next element goes into the first column element, this element goes into the second column element, and so forth. So again, non-traditional traversal of a matrix. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the code part of this. So I'm going to be given number of rows, number of columns, and a scanned array. And I need to make sure that I set up my matrix first. My matrix is going to have this many rows and this many columns. So I'm going to say view gets new double with num rows and num calls. So this is going to create an, a matrix of type double. And then what I need to do is I need to traverse this. Now I'm still going to start with row 0 and then go to row 1 and still go to row 2. So that part is still a traditional thing. So I'm going to set up a for loop for int r gets 0, r is less than num rows, r plus plus. And then inside here is where I'm going to have to check if I'm even or odd. If I'm an even row, I move from left to right. So if r mod 2 is equal to 0, 
then I'm going to do this as a traditional traversal, starting at column 0 and going to num columns minus 1. So then I'm going to set up another for loop for int c gets 0, c is less than num calls c++. And then in here, I'm going to have to keep track of which position I'm looking at. So I'm going to need some variable, let's say uh, int scanpause gets 0. And then I'm going to need to make sure that my matrix view at element rc gets scanned sub scan pause. And so this is if r mod 2 is equal to 0. Else, and if I hit this else, then I know that I'm on an odd row. So now I need to go from the last column to the first column. So I'm going to set up this loop slightly differently. So for int c gets num calls minus 1, c has to be greater than or equal to 0 and c minus minus. And it's important to note that if I have five columns here, my last column is going to be column four and that's the column I want to start at. And I actually do want to hit column zero. If I had four rows, I don't want my, 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 uh, my row number to ever hit four. So this is strictly less than, this is greater than or equal to. And then inside here, I'm going to have to say view sub r C gets scanned sub scan pause. And then I'm going to need to make sure no matter what happens here, before I leave this method, scan pause gets incremented. Because I'm going to need to look at the next element of this array and put it at the appropriate spot in my matrix. So in other words, scan pause is going to be 0. I'm going to put object number 0 into position 0, 0 and move to the next spot. Scan pause plus plus. This gets done before the next iteration of... Actually, I don't want it here. Let me fix that. The thing is, this is actually something that I need to do inside each of these column loops. So I'm going to need to do scan pause plus plus here and this is going to have to be braces with scan pause plus plus and it's always a good idea to try and and run and trace your code just to make sure that everything works because it's easy to make a little mistake like that and it would be a shame to lose a point when you know what you're doing when you know hey I've got to go to the next element here the next element is going to go into the next available column whether we're moving to the left or to the right so we really do need this in two spots here so this idea of non-traditional traversals the idea that I'm not going to go through the matrix in the typical row column format where I start with row 0 and column 0 then go to row 1 or column 1. The idea is that sometimes I may need to look at the column before I look at the row or sometimes the direction I have to travel on a row depends on if it's an even row or an odd row. It's important to make that distinction because the AP has really been making that distinction especially especially on their free response questions.